I mean, the illusion of mastery really shows up. I think all of us as musicians have had this experience too, of feeling like you practiced really well, and then you go the next day to practice the same music again, and you feel like you have to redo all of your work, that nothing really stuck with you from the previous day. Or like, you know, if you made 10 steps forward yesterday, you have to go eight steps back today. You like basically have to go back to the beginning and like do it all over again. And like, that's really frustrating. And it feels like, it just feels like a real waste of time. If you feel at the end of your practice session, like, okay, yes, I've got this, this feels really good. And then the next day you come back and all your work is gone. You fell into the illusion of mastery the day before when you were like, yes, I have this. <clears throat> One thing that researchers who, who, who do this research on interleaf practice, something they say is that often people learning things are not very good at telling how much progress they made because they assess it based on how they feel at the end of the practice session rather than the next day. You can't actually know how well you practiced until you come back to it the next day, which is very weird. That's very weird because it feels in the moment like, okay, yeah, I can tell how, you know, this feels a lot better. Um, I will say, because I've been doing interleaf practice for probably, let's see, over 15 years now, maybe longer than that. Um, anyways, I can now feel that illusion of mastery when I'm falling mm -hmm. into it because I've had enough experience with falling into the illusion of mastery, but, and then the next day being like, oh, wait, shoot, I, that, that wasn't as good a practice as I thought because all my work is undone. Um, but also using interleaf practice and not getting that illusion of mastery and feeling in the moment like, oh gosh, this is like really hard and really challenging and coming back the next day and finding that all my work is still there and I can then, you know, move forward. So I've had enough experience with that, that I can now feel when I'm falling into the illusion of mastery and be like, wait, 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 <laughs> tomorrow all this is going to be gone. Like don't practice like this. Um, so because most of the time in the research, when people fall into that illusion, they're doing interleaf practice for the very first time, like in that study that they're there for, and they don't have years and years and years of experience with it. Right. Catch up on this fascinating episode featuring Dr. Molly Gabrion on our YouTube channel or wherever you get your podcast. Follow and subscribe to The Piano Pod, where tradition meets innovation in classical piano.